cost of living, abortion access, and climate change, just a few of the big things top of mind for Gen Z, with the president promising action. Take the Paris Climate Agreement. He pledged to rejoin it, and on Inauguration Day, he signed an executive order to do just that. He also said he would get the U.S. to net zero emissions by 2050, and in December of 2021, laid out a plan for the federal government to get there. But he hasn't gotten there on everything. Before the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, President Biden promised and tried to work with Congress to make it the law of the land. That, of course, has not worked out. He also promised to stop new fracking on federal property, keeping that pledge at the start of his presidency, signing an executive order soon after inauguration. Six months later, though, a federal judge in Louisiana blocked that order, ruling leases should go forward. Then, last April, under pressure to lower gas prices, his administration resumed selling leases to drill for oil and gas on federal lands. Some other promises in progress, like legislation to potentially end the online sale of guns and bullets. No movement on that yet. But the president did support the Department of Justice stepping up federal regulation of so-called ghost guns. The president also promising to decriminalize cannabis. That hasn't happened yet. But back in October, he announced pardons for people federally convicted of having enough marijuana for personal use. Some advocates calling that a step in the right direction. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.